Well, what's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I thought I'd take a minute to uh, step away from destroying an iPhone and show you something useful on one. Anyways, so I'm gonna continue my uh, top 10 Cydia tweaks series. I've been having a lot of people ask me this and there's some new ones I'd like to share with you guys. So this is top 10 iOS 9 Cydia tweaks part five, where I'll be showing you the latest and greatest and updated Cydia tweaks that'll help make your iOS 9 jailbreaking experience so much better. Of course, you guys do need to be jailbroken. You can find that link over there if you're still on a compatible firmware. At the moment, iOS 9.1 is current with iOS 9.2 looming on the horizon. I mean, we're gonna be seeing it any week now, probably a week two max, but basically the point is you can no longer jailbreak. But if you guys are still on 9.0.2 or lower, you can jailbreak and you can do all of this cool stuff on any device. And of course, the link down there will actually show you all of the tweaks. I'm using some bonus ones, all the sources you guys will need, and this wallpaper. So let's go ahead and jump in and I wanna show you the next collection of the top 10 iOS 9 Cydia tweaks. All right, so let's start with one that's been making waves recently. It's called Lilac, and Lilac is nothing new, but it's new to iOS 9. So this right here is the Cydia tweak. Basically, your app switcher and control center combined into one very useful Cydia tweak. Like I said, it's nothing new. We've seen it before. Uh, it's been called OXO. That was the very first one. Then in iOS 8, OXO hasn't been updated. So someone released Sang. Sang did the same thing, which basically combined both of these. I mean, it looks almost identical. And now someone took that even further and they released a third copycat, Lilac. And I'm not saying anything bad. It's a great city of tweak. We've just seen it before. So I wanna show you some cool things it can do. Besides giving you this cool look, there is some really cool functionality to it. So for one, let's jump into the settings and on 3D Touch enabled devices, the 6S, you can actually choose on which corner you can hard press with 3D Touch and pop up the app switcher. So let's try the right. Now when I do it on the left, it'll pop up on the right just like that. So really cool, it just changes the direction of the app switcher. Boom. Now the animations could use a little bit of work, but I thought that was a nice little touch. And you can actually choose which edge of the display you want to pop up on or do it on, like right here on the right. So same principle, you just hard press on the right and you can get into the same view. You can also drag down right here and get these settings in here. So respring, reboot, power off, safe mode, or kill all apps, which is really useful. There is a little bit more to it. You guys can go ahead and uh, look through it, but it's definitely a well worth it tweak. I really like these in general. I uh, love the look, love the functionality, and it seems to work pretty good. And don't forget, you have AirDrop up here. So it's a little hidden with a darker wallpaper, but Good stuff, very clean look, very functional on iOS 9. So next, let's welcome back a city of tweak that's been a staple of jailbreaking ever since the beginning, and that's Springtimize. It's just been updated for iOS 9. Let me show you some things you can do with it, but first I wanna say it's probably a combination of about five to 10 city of tweaks all in one. You can hide features, you can add features, you can change the look and functionality of so many areas in iOS. I wouldn't even be able to in 10 minutes show you everything that you can do with it, but I'll show you some things I currently have enabled. For one, on the home screen, I enabled a sepia effect, which I don't really like, but just a uh, proof of concept, I just wanna show you what it can do. Two, when I lock my device, I have this tube TV style animation, so you can choose lock animations, unlock animations. I actually changed my app switcher, so now it's at 50% size, which looks kind of ridiculous. Uh, what is this, a phone for ants? But anyways, so if we jump into the settings for it, there's a lot. Here are the categories. So anything from animations to look, you can find everything here, absolutely everything. So let me change back the sepia uh, tone. I don't like that. So I'm gonna go to my icons right here, go down to image effect, and let's uh, put it to black and white. And you can choose the transparency so you can make the image uh, fade on the icons. There is so much, too much, really too much, guys. Just wanted to bring this to you guys. You know, a lot of people are familiar with it. Me personally, I'm still not 100% sure of everything that this can do because there's just too much that it can do, but there's a lot. I mean, go through it, customize your device every way you like, and uh, remove features too. There's a big point of this app is you can remove things Things change uh, things that you don't like. So let's go ahead and respring and see what the black and white looks like. 
and just like that. So a really nice tweak, a must have for any jailbreaker. All right, so with this tweak, you can either have this one or Lilac. There's no uh, combination of both. So this is called Braggy Dukes. I'm 100% sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but basically it's a replacement for the control center and it adds nice album art for your music in here. So while playing, it'll change the color of the control center to match that album art. And overall, it's a very nice, simple little look. And of course, uh, for every song, it's a little different. I like how it matches the colors from little areas on the album art, giving uh, your music and the control center a really cool effect. I, I really like it, it's very simple. So it's definitely not as useful as Lilac would be, but in its own right, it's a very simple, minimalistic uh, control center theme. So this is in combination with another city of tweak, Color Flow. I never actually got around to showing you guys it because on iOS 9, it was never updated until just recently. So in the actual music player, while playing music, if you actually swipe through music, everything will change in the player here. So all the lettering, the symbols, they'll change according to the album art. Now, iOS 9 already does this, don't get me wrong. However, this makes it a lot more noticeable, not just a little fade in the background. This will change all of the colors on everything you see in the music player, which I really, really like. So I definitely would recommend at least color flow. Bring a splash of color into everything. It's very nice how it works. And what you guys are seeing down here, that's icon art. I'm gonna try and get closer basically your entire music application will change to the song that's currently being played so if i skip it'll change and basically this isn't limited to just the music application this will change any music application that's currently now playing so in soundcloud let me go ahead and place something in here and now when i go out as you notice, the same little icon will change depending on the album art of the music currently being played. Nice little touch and a nice addition to color flow. And here's a very simple one for iPhone 6S and 6S Plus users. Basically, you have to have 3D Touch. It's called Appendix. What Appendix allows you to do is use 3D Touch on folders to get a preview of the first four apps available in that folder. And this preview will basically allow you to shortcut into that app just like that. Really cool, just uh, get a quick preview and shortcut into the apps the first four available in a folder so this next one is called app box 9 not a very new concept it's been updated for iOS 9 and basically you have shortcuts for applications on your lock screen now it's more than just a shortcut though this will actually give you some functionality from the lock screen limited functionality for a certain applications so messages if you long press on messages you'll get a new message pop up right here in phone if you hold press it It'll bring you contacts, not for all applications, but for some, you can get a nice little preview. A new note with note on weather, if you hold it, you'll get weather, supposedly. I can't get it to work for some reason, I have an error. Now, you can choose different formats and layouts here. Standard, it's two by six, but I did three rows, and it's really nice. And here's one I really like. It's called Notification Cards, and it's basically an Apple Watch notification theme for iOS. Basically, all of your notifications will look like this now, and they're grouped depending on where they're coming from, and you have different themes for the colors, which is really, really nice. It doesn't work for all Starbucks doesn't have a color it should be updated soon with support for more apps but basically the most basic ones you will have a nice color a nice theme for the notification now one notice after downloading this even after paying you will not work so you want to go to notifications and select group by app and uh, it'll automatically boot you into safe mode so restart after doing this and you guys will be set so just something a uh, heads up you know in case it doesn't work for you guys but it's nice that you get this now there are two sections it works in one is from the lock screen so let me send myself something and boom just like that you get such a beautiful notification i really like the look of it and what are you guys seeing here if you noticed a lot of areas of my uh, iphone look a little bit different now this is eclipse 3 it's been updated and released for ios 9 we previously saw this before it was eclipse 2. now what is it it's basically a system-wide night mode but it's better than that there are some new settings in this latest version that make it a really really nice city a tweak let's go to color options so this is the new area you can customize 
customize this in. I really like the option for this. So go into custom colors and depending on which section you want to choose, uh, this one right here, custom theme color, go ahead and select on theme color. And I like the darker ones, a dark sea green. I like this one, how it looks. So uh, you'd have to go through a couple of menus. You do have to respring for it to really take effect. But as you can see, it's a really nice effect. And this is everywhere, not just here. So it changes the colors, you know, not only in the settings, but everywhere where you apply it. And let's wrap this up with a really simple uh, city of tweak for the camera. It's called tap, tap, flip. Can anyone guess what it does? double tap on the camera slower actually and you'll flip to the front facing camera and vice versa so just like in snapchat basically just reverse the camera by double tapping on the display very nice very intuitive way to switch between cameras all right so that's just about it these are some nice city of tweaks they're coming out at a slower rate right now so i wasn't able to post as many videos as i'd like but i will be coming out with some more city of tweaks for your guys's enjoyment thanks so much for watching guys have a great day. Enjoy all of these latest City of Tweaks and be sure to check out other ones that you may have missed in the series. Peace.